Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So, uh, I don't even know. Like, I've been filming this for... I'm This is like my fifth time sitting down trying to film this. And I didn't plan on filming today. So my hair is just like bedhead. Like, I brushed through it, but it's like all crimped, whatever you want to say. Um, so it's not... I, I didn't, like I said, I didn't plan on filming. So I apologize if I don't look like put together. Um, I just was editing and I was just like, I still just, I'm not happy with this. And it's just cause like, it was such a big part of my life for a while. And um, I really was thought I was doing good and I was proud of it at the time. And I want to put that disclaimer out here. Like this is for education and um, awareness and you know, like factual, sometimes per like opinion based purposes only. Like it's based off facts and experiences and it's for education and to bring awareness to what this really is because I didn't know and it's like I think there's just so much thing like there's so much about it that's so hidden that you find out when you're in it and you kind of get stuck and I just want to talk about my experience and I know a lot of people are starting to share their experience and I think it's so cool because you know you, you shouldn't have to feel like you were taken advantage of um or you kind of were scammed in a way Say this about beach body i think their workouts are great i think like energize is really good it's really yummy um i really like that shakes are too expensive you can find workouts up anywhere else you don't need to pay overpriced for this these items and um i just want to also mention that this is not to attack anyone in particular this is not to attack any recruiters it's literally just to talk about the business structure and the system that it is for you to be successful because you know online you see all these people trying to Okay. You see all these people online and I was one of them who tried to paint this facade like everything is so perfect and it's just peachy, right? Like everything about their job is peachy, there's nothing wrong. There's you know, they're just checking with their clients, you work they work three hours and you know, that's not even like what we're told. So there's so many contradicting things in here where I just want to talk about it. And first off I want to start off like how I started this business. So business okay um so i started when i was a really low spot i'm not gonna say it's the lowest i know i maybe did when i was in it trying to do my thing or whatever and i was just recently married i was the heaviest i've been and i was just really low and i was like i was looking for that community factor i really didn't love my dental assisting job and just to preface this like i quit my job for beach body like i quit my full-time dental assisting job for beach body um i was like that gung-ho about it like i was like this is gonna work this is gonna be my jam in the back of my head like i i always like my gut feeling was like i know something is up with this like i know it's not like i was always so skeptical about it because like when i first heard beach, like when i was first approached i was like no no i don't want anything to do with that um, then slowly, you know, they plant that seed and you have to keep watering the seed with follow-ups and invites and everything. Like, over time, I just finally was like, okay, I, I just got so low and I was like, okay, I, I just need to try something or whatever, you know. And um, so I did it and I started losing weight, whatever. It was all great. I'm not saying, it, it works because it's literally science. I mean, I could have gone on a diet and still lost weight, you know. Okay, that's what I mean. It's like... <sighs> I was such in a low spot and that's what we, these MLMs kind of do. They look for people who are in similar boats. So like they kind of are very predatory. They, they, they feed off vulnerable people. Um, and it's just, I never thought of it like that, but like, you know, we, it's true. Like a lot of the targeted people are either college students or stay at home moms or soon to be moms or people who don't like their job. People, you know, they always talk about, oh, you want to stay home with your kids or, you know, you want to create a side hustle to, I don't know. There's so many different things that are always said about it and I, I just want to talk about kind of my experience, kind of how I ended up like realizing like, okay, this is not for me. When I first signed it, I was like, I was obsessed. I was in lust. I was, I used to say I loved it. I don't think you really can fall out of love. So that's why I say lust. I was definitely in lust with it. I had all the recognition. I was being shouted out. Like I really just felt a part of something and I felt really good. And of course, that's because I was new. That's because I was putting the work in. So I was rank advancing. You know, I was, it only took me like a month and a half. You know, anything about MLMs or even Beachbody for that matter. I became diamond within a month and a half. Well, that took, I don't know if I should, uh, should I talk about this now? The recruiting, I'll get to the recruiting in a little bit. The recruiting factor is very interesting on how I got diamond really quick. So 
um, or pretty quickly, I want to explain how that happened and how we were told to make it happen. We're, we're kind of like painting this picture like we're going to be financially stable. Um, we can create an income from our phone, you know, pretty easy. You only have to work in pockets of time. Um, all these, you know, dream too good to be true things. And I just want to touch on that a little bit because it's really interesting on how it kind of changes because like we're going into this thinking like we're put, we're either opening up a credit card for it, we're putting it on our credit card, we're using our like the last money you typically they, they talk about this they how the coaches or whatever they'll say like I have only like this much money in my bank account and I spent it on this business and you know they talk about that and it's like I you know now that I'm thinking of it I would never tell like my sister my best friend to use the last bit of their money especially what's going on like right now to start something like this when it's so uncertain and actually we know because and this is another point like there's just so much to talk about so i don't know if any of you guys are part of mlms or if you are if you're not but there's a thing called an income disclosure statement which i had no idea about until after i started like watching anti-mlm youtube videos and I never knew what that was and if you guys did know you would seriously it's right in front of you how most people like 99% of people do not make money or even lose money in MLMs and that's why they don't have it readily available I know I was watching a youtuber she's brand new too she just quit Beachbody and she's talking about it how she had to go through like three different steps just to get access to it through Beachbody they don't have it like in the back office they don't have it just out there um, like proudly displaying it because if it's so great why won't they proudly display it kind of a thing so it's just very sneaky it's very messed up and I am just so over feeding into that I guess I would I would, I would wake up and like just start dreading it. it's like I don't want to force this workout I don't want to force post these posts like I don't want to talk about my shake I don't want to talk about the seven salads the shake has I don't want to talk about all these dumb things that like I have no right to talk about like I really have no right like yes I like fitness I think that's it's important to be healthy and fit and I've you know I've learned what my body can and cannot handle and you know I still struggle like I'm I'm definitely not someone who should be giving advice because it's just I'm still working on myself and I feel like I just I can't like you're beach body coaches but all you need to be a coach is to be 18 and older and social security number like how is that qualifications it's just like that's so frustrating to me now it's like okay and I, w I was fed to this dream because I've always wanted to do like YouTube I've always wanted to do online stuff um, and I think it was just kind of like my way out it was just something that I was it was a stepping stone and like right now I'm using it you know it's I've made really good friendships and I really cherish those friendships and I hope we can all continue to be friends even if we have different opinions on things but I, I just I'm really thankful for the friendships I have developed and I do want to continue those obviously and it's just something where I'm I've learned and I've grown and now I get to talk about it and I, I don't want you know my team my past teammates or the relationships who are involved with MLMs to be like thinking I'm targeting them like I'm saying like I'm not I'm literally just giving my experience and my opinion because to me it's really important like I quit my job for this I if I wasn't more aware of things like I've spent a lot of money I put a lot of money into this business business and I've I've seen income but it's like I'm putting it right back into the business so as a coach you're literally the customers and making the money for your uplines it's really what it is for the for the company for the corporate CEO that's one thing it's like I used to call it my business whatever and other coaches call it their business which it's not their business we have no control of prices we have no control on whether we can have a sale we have no control on what's happening like what new things we can bring to the table besides like how we advertise it because that's really all we are we're advertise we're I'm not anymore but the coaches are advertisers for this company and they're paying to advertise for them that's really what it is and like when you put it in that perspective isn't that so gross usually like with sponsorships and stuff they're paying you to advertise for them not the other way around like we're literally paying Beachbody to advertise for them just just think about that for a second like isn't that just so dumb like isn't that just so gross the focus of Beachbody I guess isn't on the products really like yes I love energize I think it's really yummy I'm not gonna continue to buy it but like Shakeology everyone who talks about it like you hear people say it like that was something so embarrassing for me when people brought up Shakeology it's like yeah it is gross you know like and it's so expensive for something like that like it's just if it was so if the products were so 
good why would the focus point be on recruiting because that's where the money comes in that's literally where the money comes in is with recruiting and it's also so funny because if it wasn't about recruiting we're talking about joining our team and that's adding competition you know what i mean like it's just so weird and like now that i actually sit back and look in it's like it's so messed up it really is so messed up okay so my mentality during the experience i was a coach for about a year and a half um i've been two years in september and um i would definitely say i was brainwashed because i i would notice i'm not myself right away i was so skeptical adam was skeptical and um i think you know we bring up the concern to our uplines and they're not going to be honest about it like they're not going to say yeah the when i rank advance you know like i that's why i make money and we all have to be in it and they don't tell like I, when i was in a sneak or no, i don't know if i was in a sneak peek but i did I was watching in sneak peeks that like my uplines would do or I would even do like we don't explain we talk about the compensation plan like we're proud to talk about that but we don't talk about how okay growing our team what does that mean you have to recruit if you want to make any sort of money you have to build your diamond rank so one star two star three star four star and like you're not ever they say that you're in fully control of that it's like yeah, if you pay for everyone in the downline, so you actually have control about it, like, no, anyone can drop their coach account. Anyone can stop being a coach if they're a diamond or if they're an emerald. They can just stop doing it or stop caring. That's not in your control. It is if you want to keep inviting 100 invites a day. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it's so, it's in your control. No, it's not in your control unless you want to be miserable like I was when I had, like, felt like I was so pressured. I was like, okay, I literally feel like I messaged everyone that I possibly could and then I get to like even I hated doing that I hated inviting it was so gross to me so my mentality during it was I felt really like you know I was like I said I was in lust with it like I thought I was actually doing good and and I think the program's great the challenge group is great you know it's fun to have that support and accountability but I'm not saying that I'm talking about more the business side of things like as far as for you to scale and actually make an income that you're always so promised and that's why they make it so exciting for you like your paid tr paid trips and everything like everything is so painted so picture like the facade is so unreal that when you actually get into it it's like okay when is any of this going to start happening okay we're gonna get into it you know the community factor is really good like i really you know and that's something that you, you can really build anywhere you can build like right now i'm on i'm building my youtube community and i've been talking to anti mlmers and it's just like really they're so genuine that's one thing they're so genuine it's like they want to help you they send you stuff you know like it's just it's so genuine i just remember like towards the end of everything like if i slow down like i wasn't getting messaged anymore it's like it just wasn't like I, I love those people that i was with and i think they're so fun and i loved meeting them when i went on a trip once and it's just i don't know it's just such an odd thing to be in competition with people like i know my upline recruited people like i like i knew them so like to me it's like well you know it's just weird like it's kind of it's like i didn't let it bother me because i wasn't gonna think about it like that but like in a way it's like that's so weird it's like so odd that like I'm literally watching my upline take people like I know and vice versa like I know someone who came to my team and she was thinking about joining other people you know it's like it's so weird how we want to recruit we want to recruit we want to recruit and build our team it's like but it's literally competition it's literally competition okay so towards the end there for a while like I just like I said I got I couldn't wake up early in the morning I just felt like I was dreading the workouts I was just so like I just felt so robotic and so I started not really caring as much I wasn't doing any sneak peeks and I kind of was like looking for a way out and then I started watching anti MLM videos and like I was obsessed like I watched them all the freaking time and that's like when my eyes were open and that's why I'm taking part of this because first of all I'm I'm really into YouTube like that's what I've always wanted to do so I it's a great place for me to start because this is like a great way to get my voice out there I do podcasting too and I think it's just a really great way to help people understand what this is first for them to make their own decision i'm not saying don't join it i'm giving you what i had to go through and facts and experience for you to make that decision ultimately it's obviously up to you but i'm letting you know like the promises that they're giving to you it's gonna take a lot a lot a lot a lot of work and like i want to just mention some of the anti mlmers so kiki i know i watch her monica i watched her as well oh my gosh she's been such a saint i've been messaging her because i've been like 
you know, I don't, I don't know how to approach this. Like, I'm nervous. How do I feed these emotions? You know, I would, I would message her and she'd get back to me and we're voice chatting and she's like helping with emotions, trying to guide me on how to put this together because like I just want it to be coming off as just helpful. I want it to be something where I'm sharing my story. I'm not targeting anything besides the structure of Beachbody and other MLMs, but specifically right now Beachbody. You know, I, I wanted to make sure it sounded okay. So Monica was really good about helping me. And then she also introduced me to Deanna, who also just talked about her beach body, um, quitting beach body. So she has been posting some videos now. So go check her out. She, she recently has been posting anti beach body stuff as well. She just recently got out just similar to me. So she has a lot to say about it too. And you should go check her out because she's awesome. She's so sweet. And we've been talking. And I'm going to have all these people and their channels linked down below. Another one is Emily Leah, Samantha Marie, and etc. But I really am just so thankful for them because it really helped me sit back and like open my eyes a little bit. It's like, holy crap. This is so dirty. It's so catty. It's so, it's so selfish. It's so wrong. It's so wrong. Okay, so we're going to go to the contradicting aspect of this it's so back and forth mlms are great at saying one thing and then you get into it and it's like a whole other thing and then like they also say other things so like we're just gonna talk about it really quick here's a couple things how the dream was sold so anyone can do it crazy income claims i know like in sneak peeks so you'll talk about ten thousand on you know month 18 or something or you'll see them talk about how much money they make the million club whatever crazy income claims Pop the time or like 30 minutes a day. That's something that's very common to hear. And then also like the free trips is always a perk. And so we're gonna talk about each and every one of these really quick. First of all, like the anyone can do it. It's like, okay, anyone has, anyone who's 18 and older, yes, that's anyone. And then who has a social security number, typically that's anyone. But what gives them the qualifications to actually help and be beneficial? Like these people who are supporting, they're actually like looking up to you to help them. And like if you have a question, I know you can go to the back office and you can ask your upline, but it's like, who is the upline to say anything even? Like we don't know. Like these, everyone is so different. Like we're not trained and we're not educated enough to actually seriously help with an eating disorder. You know, I know there's programs on it, whatever, but like to what we say, personalized and customized meal plans, it's not, it's literally just get your containers or whatever, what do you fit in? And that's your customization. It's like, what else? Like, what about dairy intolerance? What about all these other things? It's like, it's not there. And it's just so interesting to me. Anyway, next one, crazy income claims. So first of all, like I kind of touched on this a little bit. How did, how do you make that money? How does a person make that money? On the income disclosure statement, 99% of people lose or make no money really and so that leaves about one percent of people actually make some money the ones at the tippity tippity top who really brag about it all the time they're making good money because they're at the top and then down and down it's like i think everything's kind of a lie kind of trickling down everyone kind of makes it seem better than it is but it's really all about recruiting how do you build your team and with that i'm gonna talk about recruiting at the end because i have this story i need to tell you guys this story and it's so i just i want to get to it but i know i just i can't get off off this topic yet okay keep that in mind so one percent of people actually make some some money and then pocket the time that's something that's like you only need like 30 minutes a day and pocket the time when you're at work in the bathroom whatever that's a good one that was really funny okay so like i was saying um pocket the time 30 minutes a day okay so there's this thing called a success success club tracker that is already calculated on there to be more than 30 minutes a day that is not accurate at all and if you want to get anywhere in the business you are literally breathing beach body so like i know when i was doing it to reach diamond like i was constantly in the dms i was constantly voice memoing i rarely saw adam i was busting my butt like you you have this dirt list you write out your family and your friends who would literally buy dirt from you and you are messaging them you're messaging cold like people you don't know you're following and i know like a lot of people like to do like the follow for a while and then go back and unfollow who doesn't follow you back or whatever it's so annoying and so to invite you know they say like 60 people a day they would try and invite and i'm like i couldn't even do like five it was so like annoying like i it's like, unless I'm going to invite everyone every single day, like I can't, I literally can't do that. And it's so annoying. It takes so much time. You have to do your workout. You have to make these shake things. You have to do all this stuff. You have to talk about it on your story, which is fine. Like this stuff is like, I'm not saying like it's wrong, but you know, you're, you're saying like, okay, I'm saying like some of this is wrong. I'm just saying like with the pocket of time, 30 minutes a day, like you cannot expect 
like stay at home moms to do this all this stuff if you want them to be successful they have to put more time into it that's the point of like especially with something like this that you really it's really almost quite rare to be successful in this because you're putting so much money into it i encourage you like i've been saying you know take your income but also look at your receipts of what you've been spending each month because there's a pv volume you have to have all the time so each month you have to have at least 50 and maybe even 90 and that's per account so i'm gonna get to that like i said at the end so annoying 30 minutes a day and pocket the time 30 minutes a day and i remember like if we wanted downtime so like i know we were on team call or something and we got someone got called out for being on um like either the bachelor or netflix i saw they're like i saw someone on their stories watching the bachelor or, the Nef or netflix or whatever and they got called out for it it's like so we're not allowed to have any downtime that's something that like i didn't have in the beginning that's how i got diamond so quickly is because i literally wouldn't do anything else after work i would literally just go do my workout and literally it's till like bedtime work on coaching coaching the biz and the last thing i want to touch on what's contradictory it's like back and forth is the free trips i don't know if you guys watched if you guys follow any uh, beach body coaches or any other coaches or any other mlmers they usually go on trips and they'll talk about how it's fully paid for no expenses whatever and i can i can't really speak for any of the other ones but with beach body i can speak on how unknowing it was like i kind of was like i got invited to a success club trip that got canceled actually and i declined it because i even reached out to my upline i was like i have no idea how much i'm actually gonna get in the end of all of this how i'm gonna actually how much i'm gonna have to actually pay for because you have like four quarters or something you have to pay like 300 dollars, and the first one's non-refundable or something and you might get points depending on your rank and your success club points or something and it's like okay how much of this is actually going to be paid and not i'm gonna have to end up take the butt of it and pay and go in debt for both me and adam to go and um along with that the flight is not free they don't pay for that and like if you would have noticed if you follow any of them you want to notice they're all scrambling to get their refund for their flight back if it's fully paid for they would take care of the flights if they want you there they would take care of the flights so it's really scummy how it's advertised as a fully paid trip when it's really not yeah it was so confused i'm glad i didn't commit to going because like i would have been out of uh i would have been out of plane ticket and if it was on i have no idea how much i actually would have been having to pay you know it was so unknown so that's just something that's really irritating and it's so funny because like when they're advertising like there's one thing that's missing it's usually not the perks of the products you know you'll notice that like if they're trying to like get you to like they're recruiting you you you'll really don't hear much about how great the products are it's about what else you get like time freedom financial stability uh free trips um community all these things okay let's go on so how has getting out been honestly it's been really hard it's you know it was a part of me for a year and a half or so now and i really enjoyed it for a while and i it just started when it got scummy and when it got more like recruit focused and it's exactly what an mlm is when it started getting like that and it's like i was giving i didn't sign very many people up with the hopes of this dream because i just i wasn't getting that i can't encourage that with people if i'm not really getting that so it's like it was really hard for me to promise these people that's gonna happen when based on their work ethic if they didn't work hard enough whatever no it's already in the cards like it's really hard to do and i'm glad like they're all kind of taking it deep like you know my best friend she's like kind of confused about all of it it's like yeah i know i was so in lust with it and now i'm just kind of i realized my eyes were opened you know and it's like i i'm just so thankful that my team that you know supported me and everything like they understand and they get where i'm coming from and they realize you know like one of my coaches she canceled her account yesterday and i was like i'm not mad at you i'm actually supporting you i'm glad because i've been i've been trying to think of how i can reach out to you and tell you to cancel you know you don't have to continue buying things like you're expecting a baby like don't depend on this at all you know it's there's the anti-MLM movement is growing and growing and growing and I don't see it, a lot of this being able to last for a long, much longer, you know? It, it's something where it's like people are only like, people are only gonna want to lose money for so much longer, you know? So it's been really hard because like I do value the relationships, like my upline and my team. Like I really love I love those girls, you know? Um, but I can't continue to do a business model that doesn't make any sense to me. I can't stay in a job you know like it really is a job it's not a business it's a job but like i wasn't getting paid it wasn't a, 
like an actual paycheck that I knew was coming all the time. It's like, it depends on who had a subscription, who was ordering products. And it really, if you want the most stable, it's about who you're recruiting. And it's like, I'm not gonna recruit anymore. I can't do that. I can't go to bed at night knowing that I'm promising these people that they're gonna be able to have financial freedom and these free trips or whatever, but with the, with the hidden behind the scenes thing that they just don't know about yet. And that was really hard for me. So I'm glad that I'm getting out of it, but it's just really hard because of the support and the love I have been getting through all of it. And I just feel bad, you know, about that. Like, and my girls are in the challenge group. Of course, I'm going to continue to, you know, help them with that. And we're always going to have this. I think we're just all going to be a big gym. It's just going to be a gym. You know, no one's going to be the beginning. I think anyone can be, do whatever they want in there. And it's just going to be something for all of us to come to and just have accountability. It doesn't have to be through Beachbody. It can be through anything. And it's going to be a really fun time. And like, I really thought like Beachbody was the answer. And, you know, as I kind of in the back of my head, I always knew like, it's just a stepping stone. I've always wanted to do my own thing. I want to build something for my own, do YouTube eventually. And then it caused me to like start this podcast. So I am thankful because it allowed me to grow in different ways. So I'm not totally mad at my decision. I'm just mad at the structure, like I said. And so I'm mad at all the money I put into it. You know, I thought it, I thought it was also the answer for my workouts. Like I couldn't trust any other workouts. Like there's so many other good workouts out there, guys. You don't need beach body. You don't need the products. You can lose weight. You can get the results you want with other answers with other ways it's not the only way and honestly beach body isn't an answer or an option at all so in my opinion so all right to end it i want to talk about that story i was meaning to talk to you so i'm going to just mention a few things that really put me off okay i really was just like these are kind of what got me so to get me to diamond really really quick here's what happened okay this is what you're told Okay, so just first of all, I'll go Emerald, which is the first drink, is you could literally do this in 24 hours. You could do this tonight. Do you have a significant other? Do you have a parent? Who is your best friend? Who would literally buy anything from you, right? That's how you get your first drink. That's how you get your first promotion. So it was, it was Adam and a best friend, I think. And I paid for Adam, so that was me. Okay, now... I had these other girls, so I was in the DMs all the time, I was convincing them to be this discount coach, because honestly, I mean, you do save money with it, but it's really, you're still spending a, a buttload for a product that just to pay all the other uplines, right? So it was dumb, so. Anyways, I was convincing that, but along with that, so I had one coach go Emerald, my best friend went Emerald, and then Adam, my husband, he went Emerald, but it was because I paid, or I, I begged, basically I begged my parents to support me, and it was my Christmas present. <laughs> I literally asked them if it could be my Christmas present. And so that is how I went Emerald. And or no, that's how, that's how I went Diamond for the first time. But then what I didn't know is you have to hold it for six weeks for it to actually count. And of course this is, I'm holding this for so my upline can be holding rank for an elite title at the end of the year. So I'm, I'm affecting my relationships and my bank account for a rank that's not necessarily mine. I, re I really don't benefit much from it. Like it really doesn't because I'm already spending this much money into it. And then listen to this, this is the kicker. So those six weeks, right? It, it, those each month you have to have your account active. If some of those coaches that became discount coaches doesn't keep their subscription or whatever going, they go and if those coaches that don't have their subscription going, um, if they stop, you know, in the, in the first 30 days or whatever, five weeks. So there's always that off. We have super hard because it's really difficult. You have so many fires to put out, right? So like, let's say, um, I actually had a couple. Okay. Here's the thing. Either you keep recruiting and putting more in those legs to keep your diamond account active, or if you're really on time crunch to, cause you only have like the rest of the evening to do that. You know, you have to make the goal by the next day, the next Thursday, you know, so you know, that like, your upline's always on you you know, making sure you're getting those fires put out, like, and then, they, and then they offer how can they help you. So this is what I thought, because I know I had a coach who needed to get active still. And so I was like, I don't know how to do this. I literally can't get anyone else to sign up. I can't recruit anyone. So can I, you know what, I don't even know what to do. And so she's like, well, can you, you can, this is what we do. You can message that one that's inactive and see if they will purchase anything and to get themselves active. And I'm like, that's already like, that's already something that's so gross. It's like, okay, they're already have been supporting me. And now for my rank, for another rank, so for really my rank, so you rank, you know, for elite, I have to ask someone else to buy something. 
and then kind of it was kind of vague it was like or we can you know you know uh, pay for it ourselves or something or something along those lines where i kind of thought well maybe she would pay for it so it's like her her rank advancement it's her you know she's making all the money that she talks about so like maybe she would pay like whatever to make her active but no it was actually me so not only am i paying for my parents to stay active and adam to stay active and myself to pay stay active i had to offer my downline coach to stay active and the thing is she's so sweet she's not going to say yeah pay me back She's gonna, of course, do it, you know, and, and that's why the support and like I love and I just feel so bad because like they're amazing humans. And here's the thing, like after so that was great, all fine and dandy, whatever. I felt like stupid doing that. And then the next time I needed to be diamond, I um, was putting out more fires and I had to do it again. And so I reached out to that same girl and she was very, she was a lot more hesitant this time. And so I was like, you know, now I get it. I was like, that's so nasty and. And then another girl actually helped me out, which I still, like I said, my girls are so amazing. The girls that trusted me or whatever, I'm just so thankful. Like, they're so stinking amazing. And I just, I'm, I'm way too, I don't deserve you guys, honestly. So, so to stay active, I had to basically beg these girls so my coach, my uplines could hit all these ranks or whatever. And so for me to stay active with Diamond, I had to make sure all these people are active, right? So that's one thing that's just so gross it's like you're not really in control yeah you're in control if you pay for everything else and then you're still losing more money like where was like there's no income coming in this is all something for me to just hit a rank you know for the team you know it's a team effort but it's like okay but it's also my bank account you know it's adam's bank account it's just so frustrating and it's like i there's a time where i was like kind of i was getting worked up because i was like so stressed out financially and i'm not gonna like get into specifics but like they, there was no sympathy with that. I was so stressed out. I was so worked up. I was like, I can't continue to do all this stuff. I can't continue to buy these programs and early accesses and all these different things because there's being there's stuff being pumped out all the freaking time. And I, I couldn't do it anymore. And it's like, I was never encouraged to stop doing it. I was never encouraged to stop paying for all these people to be active. I would, you know, we're not taught that. We're not in training. We're not taught to stop paying for these people. You know or don't don't feed on the people who can't afford it it's like no feed on the people who can't afford it because you can offer this opportunity for them to make more money it's like that's what happens and it's so wrong it's so wrong okay, so i'm just looking at my list here so i talked about that the whole diamond thing i talked about the recruiting dirt list i talked about being in competition with literally the people you recruit and then sneak peeks income disclosure this is kind of the end of it now thank you guys again for your support and for watching this i hope it's helpful and i know i kind of get heated but it's like now that i sit back i'm just so mad like i i i, I really try to think of myself as a good human and i really want i i genuinely thought i was doing good and the fact that i'm sitting back now and it's like that was so gross and i just feel so bad so i hope you guys if i if i was ever in your dms i really apologize to the girls who have supported me thank you so much for your support i love you guys so much and i hope that you still had a good experience i know you guys enjoyed the workouts and everything but again i'm so thankful for you and i hope that i still added value to your life and happiness to your life in some way and i apologize i never thought i was doing anything like you know you know i i genuinely thought i was just doing good and so uh, the, like i want to remind like this is not too attack this is just to share my experience and it is to just kind of really share what it's all about it's not all it's not just like oh work 30 minutes a day um you work from your phone just post your workouts post your shake you know it's not just about that it takes a lot more than that it takes a lot of emotion it's really mentally draining and it's i just want to share that because no one should have to spend their last how many dollars on something like this that they they don't know if they're gonna get it back. And that's just the thing. And so I, I just wanna share that and I hope this was helpful. And again, this is not to target, this is literally just to share the business structure. It It's just really, it's really frustrating to me because it just is, like I feel bad because like, I know Adam and I, we've put a lot of money into Beachbody and I just, I, I think I just feel so, I feel a lot worse for supporting it that long and supporting it and just being so confident with it, you know? and having the people who supported me like you know and I, I think yeah I know it's a whole other thing I'm gonna continue to make videos I have a lot more planned I just have been trying to get this first video I think it's just more so nerves and the unknown of 
the you know the team who's always going to be there for you it's like i feel you know it's definitely i should it's expected you know monica was saying like you don't expect people to from the mlm community to not be happy with you you know just expect that and i'm like i yeah and that's fine i get it you know i i remember when i was watching like anti-mlm right away and i was like mad at her when you know i was watching kiki and i was like she doesn't know what she's doing she doesn't know what she's talking about she just doesn't understand she doesn't get it and then it's like okay okay i'm starting to get it i'm starting to get it okay i really got this like i'm out i'm out that's kind of how it is and so i understand like the the denial right away because you just you want it to work right you put so much money you really thought it was going to be good but we're it's just like it comes down like are you seeing what you thought you were seeing are you actually the dream like what you post on your stories like what you're advertising are you actually proud of it are you actually living what you're doing is it actually the dream is it actually like the best job ever is it actually so good to recruit people and give them these empty promises because you know like just to, just to imagine these uplines their downlines huge right they recruit so many so many a month how many of those actually get their foot moving like how many are actually going and it's like how do you i mean in a way like i would struggle sleeping at night like i would be so stressed the f out like i i want all these girls like i was signing up i was like are you doing good like i, I want them to do well and like i just i couldn't i remember towards the end there like i just kind of was forgotten about it. i was just in like another number in the downline and so i just yeah i'm just here to talk about it and i'm here if you guys are a part of um any mlms if you're part of beachbody let me know your story i'd love to talk to you about it even if you are an mlm you kind of feel the same way or you have questions about it let me know i'm totally here to you know talk to you about it and even if you're pro mlm like i hope we can have if you want to leave a discussion in the comments let's have an actual adult discussion about it let's not be hating let's not just be in denial and we need to listen to each other and we need to hear both sides but me coming from it like i really I'm just feeling so strongly about my opinions um but i'm never going to attack so please don't come for me in the comments if you do it's like whatever it just shows more of someone else's character so please if you like this i'm going to post more of this stuff so make sure to subscribe hit that bell and leave a like or dislike but um i'll see you guys next time bye